Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video. I'm Setham and today we are in Conan Exiles. I'm going to show you the location for the Red Mother Dragon boss and here she is. Now what you have to keep in mind here is that around here there's quite a few dangerous areas. There's this structure right there that has some undead to deal with and then there's another dragon boss not far from her around here and then to the south there's also a, another three skull boss so it is a bit of a dangerous area the dragon itself is difficult to deal with so i'm going to take with me a bow and some snake arrows just to apply the damage a shield and a one-handed single sword just because it does help with putting down the damage a lot quicker of course we want to try and dot the dragon as much as possible uh, also helps to have some healing potions with you and of course in terms of armor i'm not really packing anything special it's just what i have on me i will of course also be taking a thrall with me so this is something to keep in mind i mean thralls are in the game so i might as well use them this is just i don't, don't even remember what thrall this was but it is fully leveled up these are the thrall stats and perks so you can see what i'm taking with me i have renamed this i don't really know what <laughs> what thrall this was but this is the armor she's packing she has a two-handed sword so she should be able to tank the boss for us now as i said bear in mind that over there there are several other bosses to deal with once you've dealt with the boss or whatever danger towards the red mother you also have the little dragons right here what i'd like to do with them is i normally like to tank them at first then let my thrall aggro them up do its tanking business that's why we brought it and then with the short sword i will start applying and stacking the dots of course you can also harvest these for the drops that they drop uh, so they don't really drop anything but you do get a lot of good stuff when you do harvest them so what I'm constantly trying to do is I'm trying to keep the stacks of dots up on the baby dragon. Other than that, I kind of let my thrall do the tanking. Now, I do do damage quite quickly because of the dots, so it will tend to change aggro for me to the thrall and back again. So I just need to have my shield up. So that is one thing. That's the little baby dragon. Now, Red Mother is right over this hill. So we need to be cautious. There are two ways you can fight this. I've already cleared out this area because this is the way I came in. And so I came down the south path, uh, south coast if you want to call it that. So I have aggroed the Red Mother. I want my Thrall to pick up the boss. And as you can see, there's also these little shoe bills that are annoying as heck. You can deal with them. You can let the Thrall deal with them. She should be able with that you have to be careful for that tail swing which gets me every freaking time now this is one way to do it you can fight the boss on the ground which i personally don't recommend i mean i've not played conan exiles for a while so i'm a bit rusty with the combat mechanics but it is doable it's not necessarily easy i do have an easier way of dealing with this particular boss and I'm going to show you how I would deal with it. But I'm just going to do this for a bit just to kind of show you the dangers. Of course, it is the same Red Mother Dragon that you have on the Exiled Lands. And the loot drop table is the exact same thing. So you can definitely farm this. And as you can see, it can be a bit glitchy. I mean, I was kind of out of range for the Fire Breath, but it still got me for some reason. And because the terrain is not level, it does, of course, make it a bit more challenging. So uh, the other thing that is kind of challenging is where the Dragon Boss's uh, hitbox is, which is kind of in its center, in the middle of it, in its chest. Uh, that also makes it a bit more complicated. She does have quite a few nasty attacks. And of course, it can be challenging. So as you can see, I'm not doing too good, but I'm gonna show you an easier way of actually doing this boss and you can farm the heck out of it all right so let's get into the easy side of farming this boss you just want to climb up this cliff right here whilst your thrall is keeping the boss busy not a big cliff but it's high enough off the ground so that the boss can't get to you and this is where the bow comes in handy 
So, of course, we're going to be using the bow with the snake arrows. The thrall is doing the tanking down there. And even if you don't have a thrall, you can still pretty easily just start using the bow. You can use the snake arrows. You can use any combination of arrows to do damage. So you can start stacking a lot of dots. But right now, I'm just doing it with the snake arrows. And I'm just letting it do its own thing. As you can see, it's slowly ticking away. It wants to come to me can't do it really safe up here so this is the easiest method and i don't see why you would want to do it any other way to be fairly honest i mean if you want to brave it and show how good you are with fighting i guess you can go and fight it on the ground me personally speaking i prefer doing it the smart way i feel like this is the smart way i have nothing to prove to nobody and i want an easy life i don't really want to basically be down there on the ground with a boss that has a tricky hitbox and uh, makes it difficult because when she's on top of you you don't really see what she's going to do so it's kind of difficult to gauge at times what her next move will be so you can't really counter it now as you can see her health is going down of course i have run out of arrows so i'm just going to spawn a couple here uh, i'm only doing this for illustration purposes anyways if i were to do this legit I would come prepared so make sure you have plenty of arrows plus on top of uh this i am using the twice upon a bow twice upon an arrow bow so it fires two arrows at the same time so that didn't help either but it is what it is this is just a demonstration on what is the easiest way of actually farming this boss as you can see, we are nearly done with it. And I didn't necessarily need a thrall for this. I just brought it in because I don't tend to go anywhere without my wonderful thralls. I do like thralls more than pets in this game. I do find them a bit more useful because they have armor, which of course increases uh, the chance of survivability through, of course, the reduction of damage that they take. And of course, you can also increase their damage with weapons. So that is one boss out. I meant to cling on to that you can tell i've not played for a while but it is what it is and now we go and get our loot now i did say there are several bosses around this area there's actually quite a few dangers so i'll kind of point them out and that'll be the end of the video so you can harvest the boss for the glands meat and everything else that they drop but let's go and have a look at what there is around the corner and it's kind of up to you how you choose to approach it i like to come from the south coast to be fairly honest whilst there is another boss uh, a three skull boss down that path it is not that difficult to deal with it's actually quite easy uh, especially if you have a thrall with you so that kind of makes you um farm two bosses at the same time so over there that structure so this is where i actually climbed you can climb it from anywhere really and it's the easiest way to do it uh, of course over here we have this structure right here and these guys are undead so keep that in mind when you're fighting them of course they have certain immunities and to my right we saw a little baby dragon as you can see it is a green one so that means that there probably is a well that there is another boss around here and it's right there in front of us you can also farm this dragon right here of course it does not drop anything important so i will kill it off with the admin commands just to show you that once it decides to work eventually come on for some odd reason it's not working right now so let me just get a bit closer to it there we go so if we look at this boss right here, we don't get anything. Of course, if we harvest it, we get the usual stuff that you get from a dragon. And that's pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord links. This, of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And until next time, stay safe, folks.